Hey everyone, um, my name's Sanjay. I've just bought this Escoot Netuno uh, Plus 2023 version. I bought this uh, using the Cycle to Work scheme. Okay, so this is going to be my main mode of transport going to work. Um, at the moment, I'm riding a 25 year old um, rally bike, um, which has served me really well. So, all I'm going to do today is just show you. Or my ex share my experience of um, what it's like to unbox this uh, and try and assemble it. I might make it wrong, I don't know. Um, I'm not very bike literate, shall we say. Um, but I'll give it a go. And then once I've built it, um, I'll do another video with a review. Okay, so, oh, it's all really exciting this. What have we got? Need that in the in the cut out the window there is Roxy our Labrador dog. We've got here a uh, bit more packaging. Just make sure there's nothing hidden in the packaging. Right, so gosh, this is there's a bit more packaging. Very well packed, I've got to say. Um, right, and there's even more packaging. It's not going to rattle around. I need a pair of cutters. Right, so I am going to make this uh, using the tools supplied. Yeah. There is supposed to be a tool kit. Um, I'm going to use that toolkit to make everything, or try to anyway. Right, I can't seem to get some of this stuff out unless I cut the Velcro. Wow, it really is packaged well. It's all tightly packed there, look. I can't get that out because of that, so I need to really um, take this bit plastic off. Right, okay, and some more packaging. I oh, can't take uh, the. Uh... <coughs> right, let's see if the fire comes out. Really, the fire has come out. Excellent. Wow, that is a really nice uh, tyre. Very impressive. Kenda tyre. Great. Okay. Let's put that there. And now what do we do? Let's see if we can lift out the bike. Um, I might just get rid of some of more of these, this bit of packaging. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward this packaging, I think. Um, perhaps don't really. Perhaps don't need to see me take everything out, although I am going to, I need to take some more out. It's very tight, uh, this packaging. I can't, can't get into it. Not easily anyway, right. There. Some very nice bits of sponge, I don't know what we could use them for afterwards, recycle them for something or other. Maybe make a rubby bone or something. Right, let's see if I can lift this out now. Here we go. One, two. Oh, wow, that is pretty heavy. Right, so I'm just going to presume it's safe to stand on this. Um, perhaps maybe I'll move the tyre out of the way. And just lean this just here. 
just for the time being. Right, okay. So that's just leaning on there. So I'm just going to unwrap now all this um, wrapping. And in fact, there's a box just come out. So before I go and unwrap the stuff, I'm just like a child with a new toy. I'd like to see what's inside boxes and things. some instructions how to build the bike um, warranty information uh, bike stand pedals toolkit um, I think that looks like it's something to do with the handlebars and looks like a rear light and a charger so let me just uh, sort out all this and I'll be back shortly. Hi guys, right, welcome back. So we've just unwrapped it all, taken all the bubble wrap off and all the polystyrene sheets, cable ties. Now it has taken me around 15 minutes. I don't know what the build time for this bike is, um, but a word of warning or caution, a lot of the cable ties and, and the wrapper is very close to the cycle body. So when you take um, the clips off and the sellotape, use sharp uh, scissors, yeah, and gently go up to it and cut. Okay, make sure you don't scratch your um, the bodywork, the paintwork. Okay, right, so what we have, if you'd like to come out and have a look, it looks like we've got the pedals here, the charger, that is the uh, control panel, rear light, that looks like a quick release, probably for the front wheel. There's a bike stand, warranty card, and display instructions. And that's it, because it's all this other stuff's uh, a bit of mumbo jumbo. About a bit of information about the derailleur. Okay, let's have a look in here. Look at all the tools we've got. Oh wow, that screwdriver looks quite nice. Cool. Right, so with that now, I'm going to make a start. I think I am going to put on the pedals first. I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see very well without them. Um, so we have the right pedal. Um, now, from past experience, although I'm not a really a bikey person, you need to make sure you don't uh, cross thread the pedal. So it needs to go in slowly, yep, yeah, like that. Now, if I did have some, I would actually put a little bit of grease on that thread. And the only reason I would put grease on there, um, A, just to make it smooth, but if at some point in the future you need to take the pedal off with a bit of grease, it won't seize. Yeah, so it's more for future proofing and getting the pedal off whenever. Now, I'm not sure which that spanner looks too big. 16 mil might be too big, but that is tight. I was at a guess, I would say. In fact, these spanners are quite nice as well, look. Yeah, very well. Yeah, very good. Nice build quality. So that's that. Just a little hand tight, nothing too major. I'm going to put the left one on. Um, okay, so now I know these threads are different. I can't remember which way it goes. I'll turn it that way. If it doesn't go on, I'll turn it the other way. And if it's not going that way, I'll turn it back the other way. Don't force anything. If it doesn't go in, you know you turn it. That's got to be wrong. It's got to be going that way, surely. Yeah, that looks like so that's all right. Let's tighten that up. Like I say, um, I will perhaps after the video is take the pedals off and maybe put a little bit of uh, 
grease on there, brass grease, I think. Right, excellent, that's that done. Maybe I'm gonna put on the bike stand. Um, all right, let's have a look. Got some Allen keys, again, they look really well made. That looks like the correct Allen key for that. Um, now, where does the Allen key go? I'm just going to pull that. Um, I wonder which way this goes. something like that this is where you need like two pairs of hands or three pairs of hands even and an extra an extra pair just to help with some of the little mundane tasks or even a socket set although if I use a socket set, then it's sort of cheating, isn't it? Don't want to cheat. So let's put that in as well. Not quite sure. Oh, here we go. Well, just looking at it, it seems to be pretty well built. Really nice welds. It's pretty good. Right, so one, two, three, little hand tight and hand tight. Okay, right, so that's done. What's that for? Ah, okay, yeah, looks like you can extend the length of the uh, cycle stand. Okay, fine. I think maybe I'll put uh, the wheel on next, just so that it's not sitting on the, uh, resting on the, the floor. Um, that looks like an 18 mil spout, no it's not. Maybe a 16 mil, no it's not that. What is it then? Perhaps it is 18. Um, again, I don't want to scratch the paintwork. It's quite stiff, that nut. Let's see if we can get that one off as well. Yep, excellent, right, that's done. Right, right, okay, so, um, that's that bit done now. Um, I just had to find this thing, it's, it's quick release. Um, it's a quick release mechanism. I sort of vaguely know how it works. Uh, my old bike didn't have quick release. This is completely new to me. I must admit my old rally must be 25, 30 years old. Um, ooh, I'm in a second now. That's that. That looks like at the bottom the brake mechanism. Not sure. Right. Um, Part of me is now saying put the hand, handlebars on, but then I don't really want to. If I got the if I got the wheel, let's do the wheel. Right. So what do we have? We've got these cap things, protective caps. I'm guessing they just pull off like so. 
Um, whew, right. Um, hmm. I think you must have to take this off, this end nut, and then I'm going to work out how to get. Let's do that. Put this down here. If you can see some doggy hairs in this video, um, we are making a video in our conservatory where our Labrador Roxy lives. So we've temporarily moved her out. Okay, right. Um, like I say, this is really you need two people to do this. We're going to give Oops. it. It's going to fall. Right, let's go. Not quite sure. Might be on. Uh, I think that is on. Right. I'm not going to move that now. Um, let's put that through there. And I need to put that that way, I think. This is where the wheel falls off. <laughs> right, so how do these work? Oh, that's tighten that like so. Actually, one minute. Hmm, I'm not sure if I've done this right. Um, think it can go anymore. I'm just weary that I don't want to break the thread or anything. Let's off oh, that now that's too tight I think. Let's just loosen that off one turn and hope uh, no that's still too tight I think because I can't uh, I'm gonna give that Little bit rattly that to me. Okay, right. Ah, that rattle, I think. Ah, hang on a minute. Ah, yeah, that's just the uh, handlebar thing that's rattling there because it's not tight. Okay, so I'm quite happy this tire's on her right. Ah, look at that. I have noticed. Ah, that's the light now. I'm guessing the light, yay, Ooh. yeah, I've got to take the wheel off, I'll put the cable underneath that part there, I suspect it's got to come over the top, so let's tell you what, let's see how good this quick release mechanism is. And I can't get the wheel off, so maybe it's a bit too tight or oh, am I not pulling it correctly? That's a look. Um, no, something's not quite right, is it? I don't think I've done this correct. Um, no, something's not right because I can't get it off. I'm going to start again. I told you this is not easy. <laughs> and, ah, right. Might have had something to do with. God, this is why you need lots of pairs of hands. They don't tell you this in the. Right, so let's start this bit again. Oh, wicked. Whoops. Right, right, here we go. I've got a, a suspense. But it's got to be something to do with. Right, hang on a second. 
second. I think I'm gonna take this out again and just start this this little bit again. Right, guys. Um, I think this might be easier if I turn this upside down. Um, although I've got my I've got my wheel on there. That's it. That was easy to take off. It might be easier to. Um, Put the wheel on and adjust it so wow this is really heavy i'm gonna do that yep make sure that is like that um i think that's the right way keep that like that it's a bit wobbly so i've got to be very careful well, let's get my glasses let's have a little look see what we've got here just make sure that looks Sure how this works. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So let's put this wheel on. Oh, I nearly dropped it then. Let's get that in to the caliper. This is actually not that easy. There's a little bit, a flat bit in there, which I need to get in and I can't get that in. In fact, it was actually easier um, while it was on the floor. Aha. Right. I think we're good there. Okay, so that's all in there. Excellent, now, that seems like it's rubbing, but I can adjust that through this little thing there by the looks of it. Right, let me get now. That end through there. getting a bit hard now. Let's just last and too tight. Okay, so far so good. So I'm quite happy with that. Yep, that doesn't look like it's going to come off and it's in there. I do want to make sure that this wheel should really be going freely and I think it must have something to do with that. And getting tighter so it must be the other way I'm still not quite happy with that it might need some more adjustment later but that's fine um, 
can't see anything else. Right, so now I'm just gonna turn the bike back over. Wow, it is heavy. Right, okay. So, obviously we've got a light there. Yep, that's cool, that's good. Um, that there. So now, ooh, I'm guessing now that needs to come off with. Oh, that's too big. Um, yeah. Okay, right, so I have realized what the mistake is. I made a little mistake. I think there's a little, yeah, a rubber bung there. I'll put that in my pocket. Get that in there. I just need to get this perfectly straight. We'll put that in there. Just the steering wheel, so everything's going to have to be fairly straight. And I think that is straight. Let's hold that. You're right, I can feel that now. I don't know if you heard that click. That's ah, uh, yeah, that's better. It all looks nice and. Uh, Tight, so hand tight, that's that done. Let's now, I'm guessing I've got to put these two, one in there, one in there back so it doesn't fall off. And it's the same thing. Now, I don't know why I'm holding this bike, because We've got a bike stand. <laughs> I've just been holding it for the last few moments and uh, so that's hand tight. And this one, that's, that's hand tight. Right, okay. Um, now, next thing. Hmm. So, let us, um, I think we've got to take these off now, this front cover. Right. Um, just so I know which screw comes out of where, I'm going to. Just put them down on the floor like that. As I'm building this bike, um, I have to say I'm quite impressed with it because it is really well built. Um, 
looks very neat and tidy um, so far I'm quite impressed right I'll just leave that like that so let's get the handlebars on we need to make sure these go on the right way I guess I uh, do the adjustment afterwards I've got to put it back out let's do that let's get this Top one in first, I think, and then maybe um, that one on the other side at the bottom. Anything else? Right, so now I'm gonna. I know I've got the stand on, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'll just move it. So, let's see what sort of angle I would say. Slide it down. Needs to be quite comfortable. That. Um, I think like that, everything's within easy reach. That there. Right, let's tighten these up a little bit. So, typical of me, picked up the wrong uh, Allen key. Again, with these, make sure you don't over tighten everything, anything. Because the last thing you want to do is break a thread or even put anything in cross threaded. Um, and just a little. When it stops, just a little tiny bit. That's that. And that's that. Right now, I know what I have done wrong again. I might just put the stand back on. Put the light on. I'm not going to connect anything up just yet. I've made the same mistake again. But what I am going to do is cheat a little bit because you can't take that out. Yep. It looks. You have to be very careful though because these pins look very uh, delicate. So well, that wants to go in sort of like that. So I'm going to get the right Allen key. And then I'll put the light on first. I have to say the wires are very neatly wrapped together. You can see there looks like a nice little bit of spiral wrap and there again. And this light there, sort of pointing forwards. I'm just gonna tighten it up now. That's that things neat and tidy now the pins I don't know if you can see in there look have a little look you can see the pins they are very very delicate and that one there so you've got a little notch so you can't really put it in wrong but I suppose you need to put it in straight and make sure you don't bend the pins I'm just a bit hard to uh I'm not quite 
sure that then oh, let's see there we go look I can see that's not quite going in properly right okay great I've got that in if you notice there lot the two arrows um, okay fine so that looks like the basic build complete um, everything's tightened up I've not connected yet the control panel um, I'll do that in a second I just want to check all right let's see which one's which so you have um, I don't know what the blue does but you've got blue and you've got um, green here and there's also what's under that let's have a look that I believe is for a throttle okay I'm guessing it's a throttle so there's a spare one so let's get this in first then let's do blue again look if you look carefully there you do need to be very careful arrow to arrow look nice and straight and a little gentle push and that's in I don't actually unless this is something happens I have no intention of uh, taking these out so there again look arrow to arrow it's nice and straight and a gentle push right um, okay is I'm guessing I'm going to power it on. Don't ask me how. I don't know. Uh, okay, so, oops, that's fell off. <laughs> that was a great start. So that is for the charger. Let me put that little rubber bung back in. Put them here. Um, oh, maybe you even turn it on from the on button there, look. So here we go, let's press the on button, see if the display comes on. Wow, it has. Excellent, okay, so it looks like the battery needs to be charged. Thinks I'm doing nothing, which I am, zero miles an hour. Right guys, so that is now done. And I would say that has taken us around uh, 45 50 minutes to get this far yep I've not ridden it okay I have a f feeling and I need to adjust the um, the brakes there I'm not quite sure what these buttons do level one level two assist three four five Fantastic. There is an app which you can uh, install. I'll take this plastic off here. In fact, I'm going to leave this plastic on. Um, now, I'm going to just double check. I'm switching it off now. I'm just going to double check that the uh, steering is not loose. Put it between the legs. No, it's not. I just need pumping up, which you would expect, that's fine. Um, well, for now, it's the right, well, it's not the right height for me. I need it a little bit taller, but that's okay. Fantastic lights. Okay. Wow. That is fantastic.
Right guys, that concludes the build. Switch that off.